center stage here at Western Beaver High School, the hallways of Western Beaver, where uh, today Our Lady of the Sacred Heart makes it two wins in a row in impressive fashion as they beat up on the host Golden Beavers. Weston Roberts is kind enough to join us here, a senior. Congratulations. Thank you. Heck of an effort uh, by the team. We'll talk about the team in a moment, but yourself as well. You seem to be in on every tackle. We were talking about how you and the rest of your mates on the line of scrimmage really seemed to have the edge all afternoon long. Is that how you guys felt? Yeah, uh, even though Western Beaver had much bigger guys uh, this, this time around, um, I thought our D-line did a uh, very good job of uh, keeping their cool and not letting them gain too much ground and uh, flow into the ball. Yeah, the offensive, your offensive line uh, opened up a lot of holes and I mean your running backs were not being touched five, six yards down the field. Yeah. Well, they had no nowhere to run. Yeah, um, our line has come a long way. I mean, Northgate, uh, our first game that we lost very badly and that uh, our line was really just like we were just everywhere and we really didn't have any fluidity, fluidity or anything but uh, we've been practicing a ton and we saw it, a glimpse of it at Carmichael's and it really came together today. Yeah. Uh, everyone's getting their blocks and it's all good. Very impressive. Weston Roberts had an outstanding game as I mentioned. Has a little ice bag here on the left arm. You had a big long uh, brace. Yeah. Little, not at 100% I assume. Uh, no. Uh, I had sprained my uh, UCL. Luckily, it wasn't torn. That was the uh, big uh, fiasco uh, last week. But um, I saw a doctor. Uh, my X-rays and all that stuff looked uh, looked okay. It's just sprained. I can't straighten it out, and I got the brace to help me with it. Well, obviously, the brace didn't impair you at all. No. Nah. <laughs> can't let that stuff get you down. Every every play, <laughs> he's readjusting the brace in the in the defensive <laughs> huddle after every play. You've been here four years, you're a senior now, and uh, this program has struggled through some tough times. Last week's victory over Carmichael snaps a 12-game losing streak, winless a year ago. Now, all of a sudden, you guys seem to have turned things around. A couple impressive victories. You know, you guys, and, and talking to Coach Bradley, feel that you're right there as far as this conference is concerned, the Big Seven Conference, as far as the playoff chases. Is that the, the belief, despite the hard times? Yeah, that's what we're, we're hoping. I mean, uh, once we lost last year, we were we all kind of had our heads down, but then really it all just started with lifting. We forget we were really uh, intense, and now I've got juniors lifting, like, basically as much as me, and uh, that's a big, a big help. And um, whenever Bradley came, uh, we were still kind of like, you know, sorry for ourselves and all that stuff. But uh, he just was really positive. And at that, like, I don't even know at what point, I guess during camp, it came from a question of whether when we're gonna win games to when, or not when we're gonna win games. Uh, not if, but when, yeah. maybe. Well, it changed from um, just getting to playoffs to how far are we gonna yeah. go in the playoffs. And so now we're, trying to keep the snowball effect rolling, and uh, we'll see what happens next week. Seventh year of Volsh football, that Charger program has never had a playoff game, so nope. you guys could be uh, making some history here. Yeah, we're hoping to change everything around. Uh, I'd hate to see a football team fail, but as of right now, it doesn't look like uh, that's mm. going to happen. Very impressive. Uh, the Our Lady of the Sacred Heart Chargers, Weston Roberts, is a big part of it. It's senior leadership, getting it done. Uh, especially in the defensive trenches here today. Stay healthy. Good luck to you, my friend. Thank you. Weston Roberts of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart on MSA Sports Center Stage.